it's the unpicked Kazoom's Beard edition. <laughs> Think about this. Trump has been keeping his campaign promises. He's doing what he said he would do. Okay, now take into consideration all the things that he said he would do. Take into consideration the things that people thought were outrageous when he suggested them during his campaign. Some of the more outrageous ones he's done already. So, what makes some of you think that, uh, oh, if we just wait, he'll, he'll do something great. Oh, if we just wait, he'll do something that goes completely against the things he campaigned under. If we just wait, it'll all, magic will happen. Some of you have been cowards. Cowards! We have a clear path to what Trump wants to do. Okay, you just look at his campaign, and you look at the things he says, and you say, that's his plan. He's laid out his plan. But we're supposed to give him a chance that, oh, well, he might, he might change his mind. Does Trump seem like the person that's going to change his mind about really much of anything? And if he does change his mind, do you think he'll admit that he changed his mind? Now, maybe you want to go ar around wearing blinders and just, like, plug your ears and go, la, 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 happy unicorns and rainbows, la, 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 la. I mean, if that's what you want to do, I mean, you know, fine. But Trump's plans for this country include a lot of really awful stuff. There is, There are a few good things when it comes to trying to bring jobs back here, and that's the only good thing I can see about his, his entire premise his entire position, his, his uh, politics. That's the only good thing. Everything else is, is, it's like he's a dominionist or a reconstructionist. Some people have said, oh, he's not really Christian. He's just a corporatist. Um, yeah, just where, where do you get the idea that he's not a Christian? Because he s said some cruel things about women? Gee. Hmm. No, Christians have never done that. Yeah, religious people have never done that, right? <laughs> Just, I, 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 I don't get this. I don't get this. How... I mean, how many? How much? How much do you want to wear these blinders? Well, then the next thing you'll say is, "Well, we we can't do anything about it." Well, that's what some of us are trying to do. That's what some of us who go to the protests are trying to do. We're at least trying to do something. We're trying to send a message: Hey, the people don't like this. Is I mean, the direction we're headed is a theocracy. That is the direction. It's not saying that a theocracy is the goal. It's basically something where we can, we can come really close to something, and no matter how much we, we, we will never actually touch and join. So we're not going to become a theocracy, right? But we can get pretty damn close. We can become like Russia. We can become Russia light. And that's what has me very concerned. And everything that Trump talks about doing will bring us closer to being like Russia. You think that's not something to be concerned about? For a lot of people in this country, this, this, we, we are watching the essence of what we thought this country was dying. I'm not going to say the essence of this country itself because people have different perspectives as to what this country, you know, is. So a huge percentage of the population, what, what we thought this country was about, has been dealt a fatal blow, okay? You know that footage of when, when people were protesting the inauguration 
And when he actually was inaugurated, there's footage of someone going, ah, no! Okay? It is not this salty thing of, uh, ah, Hillary lost! It's, we're watching the end of what we thought this country was. You know, when, when you watch a country turn into something, when you're watching it before your eyes, turning it into something you despise, you know, I, 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 you, 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 wouldn't, you couldn't pay me to go to Russia, okay? Well, you know, if I had bodyguards or something, right? Maybe, maybe you could pay me to go to Russia. I mean, there's a lot of beautiful sights to see there, but, you know, my face might be known there somehow. There might be someone who recognizes me. Yeah, I, it used to not be that way. Um, and someone could know that I'm gay, and no, I, I just wouldn't want to, I, I would not, I would not want to chance that. So you couldn't pay me to go there, just like you couldn't pay, yeah, you definitely couldn't pay me to go to a, a Middle Eastern country that has Sharia law. You, sorry, you just, you, you, I don't think you could pay me enough to go to one of those countries. I mean, if someone wanted to pay me a million dollars to, to go to Iraq, I would probably have to refuse. I had to change it to probably. I'm like, you know, if I was hard up enough and it and I had it looked like I was no longer going to be able to survive, then yeah, maybe I'd take that because well, surviving is better than not surviving, right? I don't like where we're headed. And it, it really it startles me and boggles my mind that some of the atheists looking at this stuff are just like, oh, ho-hum, ho-hum, oh, who cares? But Muslims, Muslims, Muslim, Islam, 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 Muslims, Islam. But let's not worry about what's happening here. <laughs> Our country can turn into a theocracy. It's okay, as long as it's not Islam. Yeah, Pamela Geller, you look at... Uh, she had this article, Quebec mosque shooters identified as Moroccan Muslim Mohammed Kadir and Alexander uh, Bijanet, if I'm pronouncing the name right. And she, you know, is declaring that the mosque shooting was, was a Muslim. Uh, no, a Muslim reported it. A Christian did the shooting. Silent, let's all be silent. Let's all be silent about that. No, no, it doesn't match our narrative. Islam, Islam, Islam is... Other religions can be fucked up. And the stuff that's going on, the, 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 the way that society's changing, especially since the left has, has went kind of bonkers on this thing of, of going on, on violence sprees against people and being gleeful about it. Now that that's going on, you don't think the chain reaction is going to be, going to be, uh, uh, you know, seeing the Christian end of, of terrorism and having someone in office that seems hell-bent on, on pushing Christianity, giving Christians special rights here and abroad, You, you, you don't find that concerning at all. Now, it, it was a little bit, uh, it, it was uplifting to me to see some of the people uh, in the comment section of my last video saying, wow, no, that would be stepping over the line if he tried to get rid of the, uh, the, the Johnson Amendment. Yeah, people saying, "Yeah, that's stepping over the line. That's 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 too far. I could I could not agree with that that happening." That that kind of brought a little bit of hope in my head that you know maybe maybe there there will be some line that that Trump can actually cross that you're not going to just be a bunch of Trump sycophants over and just defend anything that he that he says or does because so far that's that's pretty much what's gone on. Everything has gotten defended, no matter no matter what it is. Trump can do all this stupid shit, but when the SJWs 
uh, talk about possible solutions for something that don't really work, but these people aren't in power, you throw a tissy fit, but Trump can actually do awful things because he doesn't know what he's doing. He has a plan. I mean, maybe some people could say maybe he really does know what he's doing and all of this is just these tricks with media and playing with media and all that sort of thing. But Trump can actually do stuff that isn't going to work. It's going to have terrible results. And you're just like, oh, ho-hum, ho-hum, ho-hum. It's weird. Again, I'm, I'm glad that some people are saying, yeah, that, that, would be step, that would be taking it way too far. But why are we having to wait that long to state negative things about Trump? We can see his plan. We can see what he wants to do. He's made it clear what he wants to do. And somehow you're still like, well, we need to give Trump a chance. All we are saying is give Trump a chance. I, I mean, this is crazy shit. This sort of shit is why some people are getting becoming violent. They're like, what, what are you doing? People who normally are, are against any sort of religion getting into the government and you're just like, oh, ho-hum, Trump is here to save the day. <laughs> I, I mean, what, what, what's gotten into some of you? Oh, we really showed those SJWs, let me tell you. Let's show those SJWs by destroying the nature of this country. It's cool because look, I don't understand it. I seriously don't understand it. How how can some some of you just continue to support him? You know what his plans are. And if someone tries to talk about, hey, this is what he said he was going to do, that's fake news. You have to wait till he does it. Oh, great. So that's, again, like I said way earlier in, an, in a different, in a way earlier video, it's sort of like Pelosi saying, well, we have to pass the bill before we can, you know, so we can see what's in it. Let's wait for Trump to do the things he said he's going to do before we talk negatively about the things that he says he's going to do. It, 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 that's madness. We can see he's going through with the things that he says he's going to do. Just give Trump a chance. I'm not going to give Trump a chance on those things. And the only good thing that he's, he's said, again, the only good things, I should say, that he has said during his campaign has been, wants to get rid of TPP. He's done that. Now he, wa he wants to focus on, on bringing jobs back to America. That's a good goal. Those two things are the only good things in his plan, and the rest is, is the worst shit we've seen in, in, in decades. As I've said before, he seems to want to take us back to the 1950s. When America was great, Christian, and we added under God into the pledge and put in God we trust on the rest of our money, those are the good times. That's when we were great. Look at his plans. Look at the things he wants to do. That's the result. That's why people are talking about this. That's why people are saying he wants to take us back to the 50s. Look at his plans. Look, how, what are the results of his plans? Well, you don't care is because he's 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 anti SJW and that's all that matters, right? Oh, it's not Hillary and that's all that matters, right? So yeah, a lot of people are protesting the death of this country, the death of what this country has meant, the hopes that people have had since the fifties of what this country could be, have been killed. And all people have is, is, you know, this probably a false hope on being able to protest and let, let everyone know, hey, you know, we don't support this shit. We, do, we don't like where this country is going. That's all we've got. You want to support the, the country heading towards a theocracy and you're an atheist and you hate religion as long as it's Islam, you know, all right. All right. 